Right then, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Risk of Rain. A lot of you were asking me to play this, so naturally me now finally having fucking money, I'm more than happy to oblige. Please do bear in mind, by the way, that I have barely played this. I played the first level of the tutorial, if that's what you're gonna call it, and barring that, I have no real clue what the cock I'm doing. I appear to be fighting things with mushroom spelunky hat helmets. Oh no! <laughs> well, at least they can follow me. Oh no, I missed! I missed the one thing I definitely needed to hit! Oh no, one of them's got no, two of them got gotten free. Is it me or that piece of shit healing? You know, I get the feeling that I'm playing this game horribly wrong in some way or another. I can come goddamn firm that I'm gonna have the comment section ripping me a new arsehole of how I'm playing this the completely wrong way. And I'm not even complaining, because odds are it's gonna be more than warranted that I get screamed at for playing this so bloody awfully. Can they not follow me up these things? What is that bloody thing? Oh, well, I found a healing drone in the last zone, so I seem to be uh, pretty much good for life. These things take a month and a minute to bloody kill. I'm essentially just kiting these things around over and over again. I swear I'm playing this wrong. How many of them were just up there with me for that moment? Okay, now for a moment I was auditioning for Pink because I was coming up and I was getting that party started. What is going on? I've got the goddamn Shadow Broker teleporting up and inside my arsehole every fucking five seconds. I've got like the goddamn Brady Bunch following me around like a bunch of lost fucking dogs. Okay, the healing drone is making this much more manageable for me, but the sheer amount of motherfuckers I have clinging to my ass like a goddamn barnacle on a sunken ship is goddamn ridiculous. I am just gonna make like a man in the gallows and hang out here and try and get a bearing on my current situation because I clearly am playing this very goddamn wrong. I'm gonna open this box, I'm gonna fucking fall and not pick up the thing that I just paid for and lose over half of my health. Let's go hang between this vine and uh... <laughs> take a little bit longer to reveal myself to the enemies. Oh, those mushrooms? They're real fun guys. Every time I'm greeted with one of them, they have a new joke for me. And every last one of them is a real gas. The hell was that? I said bells ring. Why? Oh, I knocked him off. <laughs> I win. There are like three of these shinobi ninja motherfuckers just like bolting up and down every goddamn way. This is really exploitable, by the way. I get the feeling that me killing these things is not the actual prime suspect. I need to be finding the goddamn teleporter first, don't I? Yes, that's my goal. Standing and fighting doesn't do anything. They just regenerate endlessly until I find the teleporter, don't they? Can I ask, by the way, how many bloody things down there are doing the monster mash? Because it looks like there's about 20 of them. <laughs> Does this game's difficulty completely depend on the amount of time that you, you spend playing it? Because I've noticed that the difficulty has gone up since the last time I looked at the bar. Does the difficulty just progress the more you play in terms of duration as opposed to progress? Because if it is, I am screwed! I am haunted by this shinobi looking motherfucker from- Actually, if anything, he looks like the little shitty star ninja from Super Mario Adventure 2. <laughs> oh! Okay, I've looked at the difficulty, and once again, it has indeed gone up. Apparently, I should not have been camping. The longer I play this, the more difficult it's going to get for me. I don't want to be leaving that behind, thank you very much. Go, <laughs> my army of darkness. Oh, shit, the ancient wisp spawned! Bloody hell, the size of that! If I were to wait and just spam the ghosts and let them all kill each other, I think I may actually, in fact, oh, Patronum, be generating more sound than the mosh pit. Holy shit, my headphones are across the room, and I can hear them as loudly as if they were actually on my damn head. Good lord, where do you come from, you cheeky little goddamn sneakster? Get away from me, heal after kills. I've got a healing drone, I've got a healing med kit, and now I've got that, I'm a fucking vampire. What the hell am I auditioning to be Risk of Blood Rain? Fuck a doodle goddamn ding da. So this is the part where I assume people are gonna scream at me for playing this game like a bitch and wrong and terrible because, you know, I'm running away from everything and pretty much relying on the ghosts to do everything for me, basically waiting for them to regenerate, thus making it more difficult over time, thus giving them more health, thus making this take a year and a day. Is this ghost item like OP as knobs because... Doing this really nets some positive results for me. Seriously, I, f I find it pretty fitting that the, the weapon that I'm using in order to get this result is just related on ghosts, because all I've got to do is play bloody hide and seek every now and then and pop up and just say boo, the next thing you know they're all goddamn dead. You know, I've just realised once again it's pretty fitting this is called Risk of Rain, because with the way I am playing with utter cowardice, then it's looking that it's going to be a good forecast of a shitstorm in the comment section. Oh, what, I kill it, and next thing you know this happens? Come on! I kill the damn boss, and then enemies just drop out of his ass. Sodding hell. What the, what, what the, what, whoa! 
Oh my! The amount of health that these things have. Absolutely craptastic. I'll just be <laughs> jumping as they can't do anything to me. Ah! Never mind if they can. Don't say don't say your thoughts out loud, because you're all you're often wrong. Difficulty, I see you. The hell does that mean? Oh my god, my health just plummeted. Help me. Help me, Jesus, please. <laughs> Ghosts, whoa. Do more. Give me more money. If you give me like 700, I'll be able to afford the attack run, and it'll be all coming at Millhouse. My god, the ghosts are powerful. I can just stand here, and eventually, ugh, they will die. Eventually. Oh god, I need to find a teleporter somehow, and I have no idea how the hell I'm gonna find it. And what is it with those rainbow suspender looking motherfuckers over there doing a the goddamn merry dance? <laughs> Considering how long I go doing absolutely nothing, then once again, the name of this game is pretty fitting because it ends up being a Silent Hill downpour. My money has not stopped going up, are you see? <laughs> I'm just abusing this for as long as possible. I know I'm screwed! I know I can't do anything against this, I'm just accepting it and working with it! Oh, the boss has moved. That explains where all the enemies are coming from. They destroyed my attack drone! You bloody monsters! It takes a grand to repair it! Oh, come on! I found the teleporter! <laughs> oh my god, it's the giant version of the Super Mario Ninja! I'm not allowed to just go to the teleporter and leave. I have to kill everything, don't I? I really should have activated the teleporter much sooner, because that way I could have actually killed them and whittled them down, and eventually I would have got out of this alive. Maybe, 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 maybe. I doubt it. <laughs> you never know. There were previously 50 enemies, got them down to 35, because I'm uh, 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 staying alive. I'm weathering the storm. There may be a risk of rain, but I brought a fucking umbrella and a trench coat, bitch. I'm actually. Whoa, I've got a knife. The hell's this? Rusty blade. Chance to bleed on hit. You better bleed the goddamn guy. <laughs> I need the advantage at this point. My difficulty is ha 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 ha. The fuck is Nelson the overlord of this land? Oh, can't wait for this. <laughs> can't wait. Hive cluster. All right then, where's Crota? What the fuck is that giant vagina mouth motherfucker? What is that? That's like a fucking... That's an obese head crab. Half-Life 3 confirmed. Oh, God damn it! the vagina mouth monster's coming down here. How do we get out of this? How do we get out? No! <laughs> Don't want to be body slammed by that giant thing. Please just let me pass. Don't attack me. Thank you very... Whoa, that was close. It's a fucking puffer fish on land. Don't mind me. <laughs> just descending out of hell while being harassed by a thousand bats. Found the teleporter. Oh, life is great and life is fine because I found a shrine and those were some fireworks. I will go toe-to-toe -to -toe with this imp overlord. I shall not move. I shall just keep holding the right trigger and we shall see who fate shall determine the victor. Well, he ran off, so I'm pretty sure it's going to be fucking me at this point. Oh, I've got a little follower. Look at this! I've got an Imp Overlord follower, I think. You on my side? Artifact of Command. Enable in character select. Did I just get something cool there? Did I do something good? I'm proud of myself. Let's just camp here and kill this thing. You know, at this point, I've just been focusing and playing this. Because... I'm gonna say it again. I don't know if I'm doing well or doing terribly. It's just... I am so... Unsure of if what I'm doing is the right thing or the wrong thing or whatever. I truly don't know. Holy grounds, Temple of the Elders. Am I doing well? Oh, and there are flying blue balls coming after me. I think this is the place where I die. I don't I, I don't expect to come out of this with my life intact. I really don't. Oh! Time stopped! And on that note... <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, I think I'll be ending the episode. That was insane. That was awesome, but that was in fucking sane. Please do remember that you continued interest, enthusiasm, and support for a series such as this is what keeps it alive and well. So remember to broadcast that to me by liking the video and in any other way you see fit. I am gonna have to recommend to you that you go ahead and watch the Meta Games content because I recently did a Nagaria video which was received rather well with like almost 40,000 views right now, somehow I don't know. He made a video on it which was much better. And people keep telling me, oh no, he's not better, but no, this one. <laughs> Watch it, you'll see what I mean. So there's your incentive to give that guy a chance. And if you like my Nintendo video and quick skits and comedy bits, then check out Chadtronic, because I love his content. I'd like to think that you would. He does reaction stuff, and that's something I want to branch off into in the future, when I get a new place and a camera. And remember, branch off into, not focus on. Don't shit your knickers. 
And I am going to have to recommend you Hearts Bros. They are a channel that almost has a thousand subscribers at long last, and yet they deserve oh so very much more. They're likeable, entertaining, and charming. I'd recommend you at least give them a goddamn chance, because they're doing their damnedest to do well on YouTube, and they're making fantastic content. And one final thing, I humbly request you follow me on Twitch, Twitter, and my alternate channel, because there's something on all those for all of you. But that aside, I'd like to think that you did indeed enjoy this, and do indeed want to see more of it, and assume that you do, please tell have to let me know, and assume that you did that I think it's safe to say. Kind of botched that, but we're going to go with it. That I think the most obvious pun you all expected me to make throughout the rest of the video is finally arriving, because with uh, the name of this game and the ending of my little run there, by God, even if we're just talking about my ears with the amount of noise, I think it's safe to say there's a very high risk of pain. Oh, it's uh, you ended on a strong note. Yeah, knock him out of the park with it. It's a fantastic joke. It's fantastic.